somebody just asked, is Guilty Gear Strive a good game to get into fighting games? Is this, is this like the good opportunity to get into fighting games? I would say inherently, yes. This is a good game for you to jump into fighting games. But there's a lot of different caveats that are not Guilty Gear related and some that are. Guilty Gear already is a really pretty game, right? Very, very pretty game. Legacy of characters that you might not have heard of, but you already know what Guilty Gear is because you played Dragon Ball. So there's a good chance that you know these devs and how their games play, kinda, and you're like, oh, sick, I'm gonna check it out. It's a good chance to check it out because it's new. However, Guilty Gear has one huge caveat that is gonna be much more easy for anyone to get into, if not want to get better, if not try to learn a game, and it is the fact that its netcode is very good. That is something that is that is specific to Guilty Gear Strive as a new fighting game. So that's, that's a big deal. However, as a more general basis, when it comes to should I get into fighting games because of this game? Here's what I like to say. Number one, the best time to get into a fighting game is when it's new. When a fighting game comes out, it has a way bigger pool of players for you to choose from. When it is new, when it's actually at its full price, right? This is why waiting for the ultimate edition of fighting games can be very rough down the line. You're essentially throwing your ass into the wolves by waiting for the thing to drop to 20 bucks. And then you jump online and you're going up against people that have been playing that shit for two years. Not a good idea. That's actually a very rough period to get into the game, but still getting into a game is it better than you get into it now than wait even further, you know? The beginning part of a fighting game, the launch period, the discovery period is amazing. The, the first month of a fighting game is so magical that it's probably one of my favorite experiences in this entire industry throughout all genres of games. When you have a whole bunch of collective people looking for shit and trying to find out what they want to do, and then you're looking at what they do and trying it on your end, and then you find something, it's, it's incredible. The discovery period's incredible, but it's not just the discovery period. It is that matchmaking thing. You're getting into a game, where there is going to be the most people playing the game at the launch month of that fighting game than any other period most likely of its existence moving forward. Here's the game launch. At any point, the spike of players is gonna go up and then gradually it will never ever reach that peak ever again, ever again. It might bump up when some new updates come out here and there if something gets patched and things like that for sure. But this spike at the start, same thing with every launch of a game at the beginning, it's incredibly huge. That's more important for fighting games because nobody's good. There's gonna be a lot of people that are good because they played the betas, but the majority of people that are gonna be playing Guilty Gear Strive at launch are going to be populating these matches where you have a chance to learn. You're not gonna get blown up by people. You have a chance of pairing up with other people that is in a similar skill level of yours. And that is one of the biggest deterring factors of all fighting games for people that want to get into them. Very much like a throw them to the wolves arcade days sort of thing where it's like, you better come with a pocket full of quarters because you are going to get destroyed by everyone in this arcade until you eventually put a hundred bucks into this machine and now you're good at it, you know? People don't have the patience for that shit anymore. People just don't have the patience, right? You just you just don't, don't give a shit to do this. I just want to run in and have fun. This is the perfect opportunity to have fun. And Guilty Gear is a game now where there is more people playing Guilty Gear than ever before. Guilty Gear Strive is literally perfect. We also just had an opportunity with like Virtua Fighter. And why do you think everyone's enjoying Virtua Fighter right now? It doesn't even have great net code, right? But a lot of people are really having fun with VF, not just because it's free, because there's so many people that don't know what the fuck they're doing in Virtua Fighter. Virtua Fighter hasn't been a thing for 10, 15 years. Barely anybody knows what they're doing. So everyone's learning with each other right now. And you have the, the VF heads that are trying to help everybody out because they're just super fucking amped that anyone's playing their game. And now you're seeing this sort of like, oh wow, 3D gaming like renaissance. Like everyone's kind of playing VF and enjoying it right now. That's, that's really cool. That's the same kind of thing that's happening uh, with Guilty Gear. Except Guilty Gear doesn't have a huge cumbersome element, the netcode is actually good. You can play people across the world. You can match people that might be of your same skill level from Brazil to like the UK, and it might not run like total shite. So number one, most important element, a fighting game is new is the best time for you to get into it. The other best time is any other time, like literally, like linear time, any other time after this is a good time to get into it because the more time that passes, the less people will be playing the game. So if you're interested in a game and you think it might be, oh, I just want to get good at this, 
then any other time is the best time to get into it. However, that's not like ultimate motivator, right? Inherently, you're like, I want to get into fighting games. Which fighting game should I get into? Here's, here's the big gimmick. If I tell you, you should just go play this game because it has people, right? You should just go play this game because it's popular. You should play this game because it's the most feature rich. You should play this game because it's lobby system is great. You should play this game because it's a tag team game. You should play this game because it's a footsie game. Everyone's gonna have their recommendations of what you think people should do. Here's what I say. The best fighting game you should play is the one that looks sick to you. You need to be motivated. If somebody else tells you, this game is the pinnacle of fighting games. It teaches you all the fundamentals and you're going to have a great time. And then you jump into it and it has no characters you like and you're having a tough time figuring it out and you're just sort of miffed by it's online and you're just like, you're done. Bam, you're done. You've lost motivation to play. You need to have a reason, right? There needs to be something to drive you. Like for me, I'll give any fighting game a chance, but it needs to give me a reason to come back and want to keep playing it. It just does. And that's why I stick with some games and, you know, I just may, might only play a game for like a month or a few weeks or a couple days or something like that. I just don't have a drive to go back and want to get better. I can speak for myself as well as anybody else that's a casual. If you see something and you think it looks sick and you want to go out and do that, that's what got me into Third Strike. That's what made me eventually play the fighting games that I played more than any fighting game ever. Those are the things that need, that you should be focusing on. If you just see a game that has some really dope shit, or great characters and you want to do it, that's motivation enough, that's your game. Bam. If you want to do crazy footstooling with Kirby or whatever the fuck, if you want to do a sex kick with Falco, I don't know what the hell Smash shit is, but if that's your motivation and those are your characters, bam. There you go. You have you have a reason, you have an you have a goal and an accomplishment to build towards, you know? That's what's missing from a lot of understanding. That's that's what people need. People need a reason for me to come back and want to get beat up, if not find better competition and find good opponents, if not make friendships, or you are like connected to your character or you find characters to get connected to. Like I said, some people can play fighting games that are uh, literally grayscale characters, you know, dive and kick, you right? Or it's just like, this is the game, It's uh, you're either gonna love it or you're not gonna like it, right? Uh, for me, you need reasons, like I, the, a game's hook will make me want to check it out, like Dive Kick or something with its crazy single hit kill. But sticking with it and trying to get better at it is as a motivator thing. And some fighting games have better motivators than others. They have bigger rosters, they have better music, they have better single player modes. Some people will go through a single player mode of a fighting game, think it's really cool, and want to actually get good at the game itself. So, all I'll say is, the best time to get into a fighting game is definitely when it's brand new. And the best time after that is any other time. The best reason to get into a fighting game or the best fighting game that you should get into is the one that you think looks badass, has characters that you love, or has some gameplay elements that you think is sick, or maybe even has music or other single player modes. It doesn't matter. Like if you, if you have a reason to want to go back and get better, that's all you need. Then you'll have your game. I think finding your reason to invest into a fighting game is the most important part. And if you just want me to tell you, just tell me what I should play. Someone did have that suggestion. I, and I appreciate the honesty of that. I don't want to think about it. Just tell me what I should play. Go play Guilty Gear. It has great netcode. There's going to be a lot of people playing it. Go play Guilty Gear. 100%. Go buy Guilty Gear Strive. Just go do it. You're probably going to have a lot of fun. <laughs>